Hi, Ty. Hi, Becca. Hi, everybody. We're from Nashville, Tennessee, and Kelly's invited us to make a hand sanitizer and show you how to do it. We're from Thistle Farms that's located in Nashville, but we have sister communities all over the country working with women who have histories of um, trafficking, addiction, and prostitution, and we, we make healing things, and we think it's really important during this time especially to learn how to make some things on your own that you can create and feel the healing in your heart as well as in your body. So Ty is one of the manufacturing directors at Thistle Farms. I'm the founder and president, but she makes everything and she does just such a beautiful job with her whole team. And Thistle Farms has been around for like 20 years making healing products. And this multi-million dollar company celebrates everything natural, handmade, that is healing. Four ingredients, that's all it is. There's isopropyl alcohol, a little bit of aloe vera, a little bit of glycerin, and then the beautiful immunity oil that's already blended for you from Thistle Farms. But what's in it? Like some of my favorites are clove, uh, the eucalyptus mint, lavender, lemon peel, spearmint. That's awesome. And she blends all this along with her team. And so to have you here is really a great gift. So let's make it. Okay. So we need three quarters of a cup of isopropyl alcohol. For any hand sanitizer you make, you need 62% alcohol. That's what's recommended by the CDC. So you just pour the alcohol in, and then the next thing is some aloe vera. Ty talks all the time about everybody's hands drying out and how we need a little moisturizer in our hand sanitizer. I really do appreciate this hand sanitizer because of the ingredients that it has in it and your hands do not dry out, like most hand sanitizers. The glycerin is really, really great, and the aloe vera for the dryness of the hands. So the glycerin is the third out of the four ingredients. One tablespoon, one tablespoon, that's all it takes. Look, it adds, adds a little thickness and depth to what we're doing. And of course, the most beautiful, important part, it has all our antibacterial, antiviral. This is the immunity oil blend, a half a teaspoon. Ty, how long have you been working at Thistle? Almost eight years now. Do you love making this stuff? I do. Oh, good. It smells so good. So we're just going to pour it in these beautiful little bottles, just white bottles, any container. Pour it in there. Put a little spritzer on the top. Shake it. And we got a hand sanitizer. Wait, and you're spritzing your mask? Yes. Awesome. It smells great. Okay, because so many people really have talked about the idea that it feels suffocating and the smell inside your mask after hours is really hard. Yes, but I believe it's the spearmint that helps you breathe better. So it's going to turn this mask experience into a spa experience. It is. <laughs> I'm in heaven. Mmm. Hand sanitizer, mask refresher. Thank you, Kelly, for inviting us. We love you. Thanks, Kelly.